Hello, I am Dr. Alex Carvalho Dieguez. I am a professor in the Department of Psychiatry at Columbia University and a researcher at the HIV Center for Clinical and Behavioral Studies. I started to study the issue of at-home rapid HIV testing several years ago. It followed an article that appeared in the New York Times in which uh, discussing the issue of the possible um, uh, appearance of the test over the counter, a journalist was wondering if this was going to bring a new twist into the dating game. And I thought it was quite an interesting story and decided to investigate. The rapid HIV test is probably going to be very similar to other tests that are available over the counter, like a pregnancy test that people can do in their own homes. They, it's a very simple technology. Basically, it's a stick that has a pad and you can collect a sample with that pad. There are some that are um, using only oral fluid and so you swipe it on your gums and you put the stick in a liquid and in 20 minutes you can have the result. There are other tests that require a finger prick or a, a blood sample. Some of the potential benefits of at-home HIV testing is that people may find uh, in an easy way and quick the results of their own HIV status and of a partner if the partner decides to test with themselves. We have seen in our studies that many individuals who have been tested repeatedly at uh, community organizations or clinics were not interested in going again through what they call the ritual of HIV testing, meaning all the pre and post test counseling and so forth. And they would have welcomed the opportunity to do it on their own and they would have done it much more frequently. Some potential drawbacks or concerns about using this kind of test are that people may not have counseling available immediately in front of them if, for example, they test HIV positive. And so um, that has been raised as a concern. Also, if they decide to use it with a partner and the partner tests, tests positive, a concern is that people may then become aggressive or violent and that is something that one has to be uh, careful about. The test is quite accurate, at least the one we have used, because it detects in a short period any infection that has not occurred within the last few weeks. So for all cases except for very recent infections, you can tell in 20 minutes if someone has been infected and has developed antibodies to the HIV virus. We developed a study that we are very happy about the initial results. It's a study that has two phases. In the first phase, we uh, recruited people who were men, who were using condoms infrequently or not at all, and we asked them, if you had this test available, would you use it to uh, test yourself and maybe propose to your partners testing yourselves before having intercourse as a way of harm reduction. In the second part of the study we actually gave people tests to take home to see if they would use them or not. The results were quite good. 80% of the people said that they were interested in using this test to test themselves and to test their partners and at the end of the interview where we had asked for a number of different possible situations that could come up, we produced the test and we said, would you like to test yourself in front of us? And 75% of them did it, which gave us the impression that really they meant what they were saying, that they were really interested in using the test. We asked them, how would you present this information to a partner? How would you handle it if you had both been drinking or at the party or if you were not at your home? So there were a number of um, different scenarios that we discussed and people were very creative in terms of how they would present this in a way that would 
hopefully work that will be likely to be used. Now we are midway through the second part of the study in which, as I said before, people are given the kids to take home to use them with partners. And the results which we have not uh, fully uh, analyzed so far seem very encouraging because people are indeed using it.